Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters episode. So I have to apologize first before we begin, because in the part two of this adventure, um, apparently part of my recording got cut off due to uh, uh, encoding of the video, and of course, uh, apparently I didn't QC the video, and uh, because the, the computer actually just showed me exactly what I would want to see when it's done processing the video and all that kind of stuff. So I just went ahead and uploaded the video and deleted my my data, my recordings and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> well, a fair bit of the end uh, disappeared. Basically, um, having Barry join the team and all that kind of stuff. So anyway guys, um, let me just roughly explain what happened. So basically we, we fought Barry because he thought we were Team Break, which is the um, the villain team or rather the bad guy group within Pokemon Masters. Um, like how Team Rocket, Team Galactic, uh, Team Magma, Team Equa, that kind of stuff are to the other normal games. So yeah, so Barry joined the team and he has my favorite Pokemon, which is Piplup. Um, so yeah, all right. So Ross, Rosa is here to greet us uh, at the start of the game. Well, look at the time. We should go to sleep soon, so we are not tired. Hmm. Yeah. At this point of time that I'm recording the video, it's kind of like 10:30 p.m. So uh, it's kind of nice that Dana set up the characters to inform us about the day and time of the day that we should be resting instead of playing. Considering that Pokemon Masters doesn't have an um, energy based system, so you can just play this non stop and you know, time will just fly by just like that. So, uh, yeah, so luckily for us, Pokemon Masters is currently not going through any events, it's just basically story clearing at this point in time, so which is what we're here to do. Um, basically, before the events and all this come into play. So we have to get ready, um, we have to get enough gems to scalp and all this kind of stuff. So yeah. Alright, so before we move on, let's collect our daily login bonuses. So I guess I'm gonna have to do Pokemon Masters as a daily thing since, you know, that's the daily login bonus and all that kind of stuff, I suppose. Alright, current known issues, what is this? Oh no. Let's see, what is the issues? The effects of Dire Hit and Dire Hit all do not match their descriptions. Okay. Boss hints. Mm. Okay, not so important, I guess. Um, Alright, let's collect all the rewards. There we go. Uh, I have no idea why the news button was lit up with exclamation mark when we kind of checked out the information so um like in the last video i don't know whether you guys um watched the portion that actually says um that all the characters will have an exclamation mark on them if they have something to say to you um i think that was near the end uh, which was missing and apparently you don't really gain anything from them except for like a description from their personality telling you about themselves or what's going on in their life, that kind of stuff. So, talking to the trainers don't really do anything for you. And if only they give you something nice. So, that's kind of a bummer. Hopefully, Dana would, you know, implement something useful. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna tap through all of them just in case somehow or rather they suddenly decide to give you something nice. Alright, so with that out of the way, um, if you guys are planning to add me up, uh, I have, you know, I have some friends kind of. Uh, so yeah, my ID is here at the top. You guys can go ahead and add me up if you want to do co-op battles in the future. Oh yeah, so before we begin, um, I didn't do this in the last video. Let's talk about the current scout for blue. Um, and let's see what kind of details are there for his um, Pokemon and or rather his trainer himself. You know, he is a 5-star trainer. So, oh. oh, that's nice. You can actually tap and see character plus hear their voice. And of course, you have Pidgeot and Mega Pidgeot. So, uh, it's pretty nice that they actually have a Mega Evolution. Alright, so let's take a look at the moves. So, S slash is an AOE. 
uh, type. And with power 54, accuracy 95, uh, so there are chances to miss attacks just like in the real Pokemon game. So power 51, hmm, Air Cutter doesn't do as much critical hits, land more easy. Okay, so because of the fact that it lands critical hits, uh, that's one of the reasons why the power is so low. So with the critical impl uh, implied, or rather uh, applied, um, it does more damage than Air Slash eventually. There's a moderate chance of making the target flinch. Oh, that is useful. Special attack up. Okay. Smell ya later. Raises the user's evasiveness, accuracy, and critical hit rate. Oh, wow. So the, the trainer's ability is very useful for Pidgeot. That's the reason why Pidgeot is Blue's main Pokemon in as this as this character based style setup. So max level, or you can actually see the max level stats. Uh, which is what we are seeing. Then level 1 stats. Oh wow, that's a huge difference. So Mega Evolution, you can see that the special attack and speed is boosted. Passive skill. Accuracy cannot be lowered. Wow. Speed cannot be lowered. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so Blue is pretty useful in its own way. Um, considering that... Uh, since most of the Pokemon only have one weakness type currently, so I guess it's weak against electric. Um, yeah, you can actually see the video. Play a video to feature sync pairs move. Following video uh, during the game, trainer voiceover sync move. Some trainers may not have a voice. <laughs> so that's what that's the problem when um, the Japanese. Voice actors pass away, I suppose. Oh, that's pretty nice. Mega Evolution. Ooh, that animation is so sexy. <laughs> okay! Uh, scout points, what is this? Current scout points, 0 out of 400. When you reach the max, you can scout any one sync pair you want. Whoa, how do you actually get that? Hmm. Uh, you can actually get other characters as well. Uh, blue is a 2% though. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, they have Roxy. Oh, dang. Alright, so... I don't know. We are only halfway of the gems to actually... Um, try scouting, so that's still quite a far, uh, you know, far dream of mine. <laughs> anyway, let's let's go and check out the sync pair stories before we begin with the main story, a day with Barry. So once again, I apologize for part two on the video. Hopefully, this time round, part three comes out smoothly. Definitely, I will do a QC before I actually upload it this time round. In fact, I should do it for all my videos and be, instead of being so confident. Alright. What was that about? Oh, don't jump out at people like, no, I just walked here. Or rather, I flashed here, teleported here by screen tapping. <laughs> you bumped into me, so I'm finding you a million? What? I'm not paying. What's that all about? You can't just refuse like that. Yes, I can. You're the one who bumped into me, so of course you have to pay a fine, right? Why are you so confused? You gotta be confident by your own decisions, my god. <laughs> you know, I kind of get the feeling that maybe it was I who bumped into- Yeah, you should be paying me a million. <laughs> I guess it can't be helped. No fine for you this time. I mean, that's how it always ends up anyway. Oh man, there goes my million gems. I'm so disappointed. No, I'm, I'm the one that's disappointed. Give me my million gems. <laughs> I finally had a chance to get you to pay me. What? <laughs> Were you always aiming for me to get money from me? This scoundrel, oh my goodness. I'll never reach my goal at this rate. What goal? <laughs> Don't act too shocked when I tell you. My goal is to use the fines I collect to build my own battle tower. The battle tower is a place to have Pokemon battles. My daddy... I mean, my dad faces off against challengers who climb the battle tower. 
I've made many attempts myself, but it always ended in defeat for me. But someday I'll make my dad take on the battle tower that I had built. And I will definitely beat him. That's one of my dreams. You have other dreams? Yep, and this next one's a doozy of a dream. Listen close. My master, Mr. Wake, pro wrestler Crasher Wake, doesn't acknowledge my skills at all. I've devised a special plan just for him. Mr. Wix, Floatso, and my Piplop are both Pokemon that use water type moves. I'm going to make my Piplop learn more awesome moves that, than his Floatso to surprise him. Yeah, good idea. It's a good it's good to have dreams, but when you have too many, you might not be able to make any of them come true. Which one do you think I should go for first? You have to decide right now. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Stop. Oh, never mind. This is exactly the kind of thing that I need to take the time to think about for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I told you my dreams. So you have to tell me yours. <laughs> if you don't tell, I'm fighting you. This guy is greedy as heck. <laughs> How in the world do people like Barry? Or does anyone like Barry at all? Oh my goodness. I definitely do not like him. So annoying. Alright, we're done with Barry. Um, I guess we can move on to main story. I'm gonna continue where we left off, kind of. Well, I left off, you guys didn't see it happen. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Barry joined our team, so challenge in the cave. Team break. Alright, so I guess we can swap out uh, with me. Because Barry... I want my pit plug to be used. Right. Well, the weakness type is still electric and grass. Uh, should we actually switch out? Because it's not exactly very wise. I mean, Whitney is a 4 star trainer. Hmm. Alright, let's go with Whitney. Alright, let's go. <laughs> A few eyes on me. Could it be? You must be those meddling kids I keep hearing about. No, we are not from Scooby-Doo. Whoa, hold the phone. Excuse me, <laughs> I'm gonna burp. <laughs> you got yourself some mighty fine Pokemon there, don't ya? I'll take all of you out and take your Pokemon while I'm at it. Get him! It's, it's a very smart design. You know, the mask and the shape of B. And it, it's black and white, so I don't know. Are they, are they from black and white series? Um. Oh, it's on auto, is it? Oh, I just had auto, so... I wonder why the game is playing by itself. Hey, there we go. Darn it, you pay for this. Scientist? Somebody's in our hideout. What was the lookout doing? Well, they were looking out in the wrong direction. <laughs> well, well, it looks like we have some fine specimens here. Thank you for raising your Pokemon with such love and care. We'll be taking them now. Thunder shot. Let's go. Oh dang! Should have selected this. <laughs> One more thunder shot. Okay, thunder bolt for you. Yeah, there we go. 
Seriously, we barely even use Snivy. There we go. They are too strong. Strategic retreat. We'll steal some stronger Pokemon and get you next time. <laughs> Lots of leveling up. Very nice. Ooh, first time rewards. Alright, so we have round two of battles. Let's go! Um, from the last we saw, we had Pokemon weaknesses with Brock. So let's choose Brock. Alright, and let's go. You ready for these guns? I got this rip after I gave up being able to float. <laughs> what? Is it because your muscles are too heavy and you sink? Yeah, we have Fempy. Okay. Fempy, so let's do this. All of them are weak against plants. Go. Switch to Pikachu. Ow. There we go. Thunderbolt for the one hit kill. Easy. Yeah, I guess that's how difficult it is for the beginning part of the story. Eventually it will get tougher. Not even my glorious muscles could help me overcome this. Well, you're not the one fighting, so. Nobody here? Oh. Oh jeez, this is the pits. Our <laughs> eyes just met. You wanna get past me, be my guest. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll say... like to say that, but I should at least do my job, right? Hand over your Pokemon. I thought she was being nice for once. Oh dang, it's not even enough to knock it out. Probably should start learning how to use all the special attacks and all this. I mean like the stats up. Because uh, <laughs> it's gonna get diff more tougher than this. Eventually, you probably had to learn how to strategize. Well, I did my job as well as I could. Nobody can say I didn't try. Yeah, level up. Alright, so let's get out and do another sync pair story. Misty? One day, I was taking a stroll with her Pokemon along the beach when she came upon a peculiar sync pair. The two of them appeared to be roping off an area of the beach for themselves. Hey you, stop right there! This is my beach! Go away! Uh, was I not clear for the first time? The sand here is super soft. It doesn't hurt at all when you fall down on it. 
So I'm turning this area into a training ground for me and my tapic. Right now, got it! Reclaiming this sand! You don't think so? Hey! What do you think you're doing over there? Leave her alone! If you want to battle, you can battle with me! <laughs> a star me? That wouldn't be too good for my tapic. Ugh, fine. Whatever, I guess you can have this spot then. Go on, take it, it's yours. Phew. I think she's gone. I can't believe she picked a fight with you like that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll take care of myself. Alright, you probably could have wiped the floor with that sink pair just now. Even if I hadn't showed up. I kinda wish she would have stuck around a little longer. I would have liked to chase her off with a Pokemon battle. See, the Sami I have here is actually different from the one I used to battle at, at my gym. What? You you have multiple Stamis? <laughs> I left that Stami at a Pokemon daycare for a little while and the Pokemon breeders found an egg. That's where this Stami hatched from. It's not very experienced yet so I want to let it battle as much as I can. It's definitely making progress though. The poor thing had a lot of trouble before it evolved. Back when it was the star you. Trouble like what? Where do I begin? Sometimes it would fire its bubble beam at the ground, and the recoil would set it flying backwards. Or it would try to tackle its opponents with a big jump, only to end up wedged into the sand because it overestimated the distance. In any case, I want to do my best to make sure my special pal here grows up nice and strong. I feel like I owe it to my old buddy Stami for sticking with me through all these battles back at the gym. By the way, if you ever need help with your anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? It's all great training for Stami in the end, and helping people with Pokemon is super important. Helping you would make me really happy. Aww. So sweet of you. <laughs> I love supporting younger trainers like you almost as much as I love raising my Pokemon. Wait, are you raising me up? Um. <laughs> Either way, Stami and I are looking forward to having tons of fun together from here on out. It's gonna be great. Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like they have um, secret... Uh, agendas with us. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should finish up Brock and we can end the episode here. A day with Brock. Where is a good open space around here? Hmm. Oh, hey! Are you out shopping? Just taking a stroll. Really? If that's the case, could you help me out? I was looking for a good place in town where I could train. Mm, how about the forest? Great idea! Alright then, no time like the present, let's go! I'm glad you knew this place. You're a lifesaver. Onyx is bigger than most Pokemon, after all. It can be pretty difficult for us to train unless we're outside or in the gym. I'm glad we found this place with Onyx. Or oh, Onyx? I don't know. Onyx seems happy. He must like this place. Onyx has been my partner for a long time. So it's my duty as his trainer to give him a space where he can move around freely. But now it's about time we got to training. You're going to train too? Yeah! <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm completely in sync with Onyx during our battles. By training and working out with Onyx, <laughs> I naturally get to see what he's good at and bad at, how he fights and what his abilities are. That tells me how to best use him in battle. It's because I do that this Onyx and I have won countless Pokemon battles. <laughs> Of course, as your personal coach, I guarantee it! Wait, are you Brock? THE Brock? Whoa! <laughs> Twins? <laughs> That's right, I'm the rock-solid Pokemon trainer Brock! 
And, uh, can I help you? We became rock-type Pokemon trainers after being inspired by you. Brock, please let us train with you. Wow, that's definitely flattering. Then... Silencia, why don't we try out what we were talking about earlier? I'm sure it would be a good training for these fellas too. I'll do my best! What a workout! Yeah, those hikers look tired but satisfied too. You really help me out? No worries, I meant to work my work out myself. You know, you have a really good sense for Pokemon battles. You're definitely destined to become a great trainer in the future. I want to be there when it happens. You're making me blush. <laughs> well, life's fun when you have lofty goals, right? Take me for instance, I have trainers that know me now for sure. But at one point in time, I was a rookie just like you. From there, I focused on experiencing as many things as possible, like that training. And after a long time of doing that, I became a gym leader. So I know that you can do the same. The workout we did today was strictly what I developed with Onyx. If that workout and training session can inspire you, that would make me happy. <laughs> Onyx is cheering you on too! <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Oh, that's a very long story you brought, man! Alright! So that's pretty much all the same pair stories we have. Um, I guess eventually when you level them up, they'll probably have more stories to unlock. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode again of Pokemon Masters. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself and hopefully, well, the video goes through well enough for upload this time round. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and as always, let me know by hitting the like button down below if you appreciate the content. And of course, comment down below if you have questions and all that. Let me try and answer them for you as we adventure through the game uh, together. And of course, I'll see you guys soon in the next episode of Pokemon Masters. Until then, bye!